And this is where we dredged in 2000 and up to 2009. We were dredging in this hole over here where this little dam is and upstream. This is, in fact, this is where we saw the deer crossing the river. If you go into my playlist um, and look in the playlist, you'll see, uh, just go through my videos and you'll see one that just says deer. It's just miscellaneous. And there was actually a whole herd of deer crosses the river right there behind me in the, the cross river right here. And so this is why I can't walk any farther over is because number one, it's winter time and it's slipperier than heck. And number two, I don't want to take any chances of breaking a leg. This is the old winch platform that they had here, which is another indicator to me that they didn't touch this area. They just put this stuff up here thinking there was no gold underneath and left the gold that was here not realizing it was right below them the whole time. So we're going to dig out this whole area and we're going to have to go down 10 feet. So it's not going to be a one day job. This is going to be a big trip. So I walked this whole area and my strongest reading that I got was right down here. And you see that big boulder right there. I'm thinking the gold is all stopped up here between this boulder and this nice oak tree. And unfortunately the oak tree is there and I'm not going to touch that area. But that's where it's saying the most gold is, is right there by the oak tree. Right there by the oak tree and that nice boulder right there is where we got the best gold is right in this area. Is it worth taking an oak tree out to find gold? Well, not to me, okay? So there's my chair sitting there. There's the tripod and the uh, winch mount is right to the left uh, from the, I think it's probably from the early 1900s. You know, I don't know if you can see it. It's sitting right there. So let's walk the deposit area that I found. Basically, it comes down into here and then it stopped me. Right in here. I didn't make a mark. It's pine limbs. I know this area by heart. Okay, then I walked over here. And basically from over there, I got readings all the way out on this entire part of the of the meadow there's the camp right there so we're just camped right here real close okay once again we're just standing right here by the river walking the path that was the strongest and you can see i mean there's actually you know like uh tire tracks and the quads here on the ground I, you pretty much just follow the quad tracks here was my last scrape and this was the outside of the rods that I made, okay? But when I took my, my regular rods that I use all the time, it took me to the pay streak all the way back along into here where I was getting a lighter reading, which would be a, a less dense deposit with the other rods. And I'm still getting a less dense deposit with, a, with you know, my regular rods, but that's okay. This was the scrape I made of the outside boundary. And we're now we're just walking back over here. And this is the scrape right here of where the rod just separated and came apart. This is the very end of the pay streak. So we found our corners, our outside edges. We know the deposit, the main part of the deposit is towards the river, the strongest part. But there is gold right here underneath my feet. The last time I was asking the rods, oh, I put the other ones away, I guess. But I was asking the other the other rods if there was gold beneath my feet, and it was saying yes. And well, with these rods here, it's like you just can't get an accurate reading because the gold's there. So we're gonna try it with a pendulum and see what it does. And one of the things that I've noticed, the pendulum acts different for me than it does with other people. I mean, maybe not everybody. Everybody's going to act differently. Probably because this is a different type of pendulum. I got the longer string on it because I'm trying not to move my hand. 
So it's sitting here on its own. You know, when I ask it a question, I expect it to answer with me straight forward. Straight up, straight back for yes, no, and straight across. Let's see what it does. I've watched these other videos, like I say it goes in a circle. Okay, show me a yes answer. See, now it doesn't go in a circle for me. And I don't sit there and go and spin it or do anything and say, okay, show me the answer. No, I let it get totally still, then let it start moving on its own. Is my mind doing it? Am I moving it with my mind? Is my mind moving my hand? Making it do that, or is this moving? Well, honestly, I don't know. All I know is this is moving correctly for a yes answer. Show me a no answer, please. And I'm doing my best to hold my hand steady. And it just shows me a no answer going back and forth right away on its own. Am I even moving my hand? You're going to have to watch a video again and check it out for yourself because I'm not sitting here playing games where I'm going, let me exaggerate and show you what a yes answer is, you know, and moving your hands all around and show you a no answer and moving your hands all around. I'm showing you the real deal. I don't move my hands at all. And I don't even know if my mind is moving my hands. I, I'm imagining that, that maybe that is. But I honestly don't know what's going on. Is it, you know, the breath of God that surrounds us all? Well, that's, that's that. Okay, let's hold still, please. Is it the breath of God that makes you maneuver? Is the breath of God the same thing that Christians call the Holy Spirit? Yes, and yes. I mean, I don't know, I might, I'm not a pagan, I'm a Christian, I believe in Jesus, you know. I believe that he was the Son of God, but I don't know what the other religions would be asking. Ah, oh, hey, here's one. Are you being ran by the breath of Allah? Yeah, strong yes answer. Okay, hold still, please. Are Jesus and God and Allah basically all one and the same? Yes. Okay. And this is what I think, if you ask spiritual questions to your pendulum, you know, ask whatever, whoever your God is, and ask, is the Christian God the same? See what the answer comes up with. Because I got this, I've had this feeling forever that I'm just surrounded by the Spirit, and I do amazing things, so I'm blessed with an amazing talent of being able to save lives. Because God tells me where to go. I call Him the Lord, I call Him God, you know, and I call the Son of God Jesus, and it's like, Oh, hey, I know one. Okay, I've got a question for you. Are Isis and Mary two different people? say yes. Is the story of Isis and the story of Mary about the same person? My hand just shook, but before it shook, it started moving out to the left. 
making it a no answer. So we got two different stories about two different people. I mean, Mary's known. I mean, known that she existed. And Isis, well, she's known that she existed too. Okay, now you can see a side view of the pendulum and my fingers in my hand. And you tell me if I'm moving it or not, okay? Now, because it's facing away from me, yes, the answer is going to be going this way. Oh, no, answer is going to be going sideways. So let's make sure for you guys. Hold still, please. It's like when I say hold still, what it does is it moves my knee that my arm is resting on and it actually jostles it a little bit and makes it hold still. Very still. Okay, show me a yes answer, please. Do you see how that immediately started going for the yes answer? Immediately. Did I move my hand? Am I moving my hand or even concentrating on my hand at all? No, I'm not concentrating on it one bit, and it did that. I mean, I don't see my hand moving whatsoever, do you? This is not some trick. I don't have a magnet here in my other hand going back and forth. This is copper, okay? Copper's not magnetic. What it is, is one of the best conductors of electricity that there is. Okay, show me in a... Uh, just hold still for a second, please. Okay, show me a no answer. Try something else I've, I haven't done in a long time. Would you spin in a circle for me? How about spin in a clockwise circle for me, please? pretty good. Now you guys tell me, is my hand moving? Or is this just moving on its own? And the circles are getting bigger and bigger. That's good enough.